Tips Part 4. 31. Go Organic. Although fruits and vegetables are food items that you want to include in your diet, you should still be more cautious in purchasing them. This is because some farmers may have used lots of chemicals like fertilizers and insecticides in growing them. To avoid having to experience negative side effects from it, always purchase those that were grown organically. 32. Avoid simple carbohydrates. Foods that have simple carbohydrates are high in glycemic content. Thus, it is best to go with food items that have complex carbohydrates. By doing that, you are ensuring that your body is able to maintain healthier blood cholesterol levels. Aside from that, foods that are good sources of complex carbohydrates are also harder to process, which can result to more calories and fats burned. 33. Eat at your dining table. When you eat elsewhere around your house, there may be a tendency that you could eat more than you should. This is because playing on your computer or watching the television may distract your brain from accepting the signal from your stomach that it is already full. Therefore, if you want to lose weight, you should eat at your dining table. 34. Eat before visiting the grocery store. When you shop for grocery items, it is best that you eat beforehand. This is because going inside a grocery store, when you are feeling hungry can make you purchase more food items than you need. In fact, it can even make you purchase foods that are not healthy. Thus, it is best to grab a snack before you go to the store. This way, you can stick to your list of items you want to buy. 35. Minimize eating at restaurants. When you are on a diet, eating at a restaurant can actually get you off track. This is because most foods that are served in restaurants are cooked with lots of oil. Aside from that, some can also serve foods that are highly processed. Thus, it is best that you set a limit in eating out. Instead of doing it two or three times a week, bring it down to one, or once in every two weeks. 36. Be aware of the things that can trigger you to eat. There are certain factors, which can make you eat more foods than you need. Some of which would include bad relationships, stress, work conflict, and many more. Thus, it is best that you become more aware of them. By doing that, you would be able to control your hunger pangs by preventing such things to affect you. 37. Proper records keeping. In following a diet, in most cases, you are doing it to lose weight. When it comes to that, it is best if you keep a record on how much weight you are able to shed off as the weeks go by. By doing that, you would see if there are certain adjustments you need to make. Aside from that, it can also ensure that you are motivated in keeping up with it. 38. Controlling your portion. To make sure that you stay on track with your diet. One of the things you need to do is to control your food intake. To achieve that, what you can do is to use a smaller plate when you eat. Doing that would ensure that you can limit your food intake. Since you won't be able to put more food than it can accommodate. 39. What to include in every meal. To ensure that your body is provided with its needed vitamins and minerals in every meal, you should make it a practice to include fruits and vegetables. This would ensure that your body does not only get its needed vitamins and minerals, but fiber as well. When you do that, it can effectively suppress your appetite to a certain degree, due to their high fiber content. 40. Enjoy your meal. Enjoying your food does not necessarily mean that you eat it as fast as you can. It means that you should savor it more. Try to appreciate its looks, smell, taste, and texture. When you do that, you would have a more pleasant experience in eating. Aside from that, it can also make you eat slower, which is a good thing to do to achieve weight loss. Subscribe to the channel to watch the next part of the topic diet tips.